Hello everyone, my name is Matt, and I'm a structural engineer at SRAM Software. Today I'm going to show you how to determine the natural frequency of a simple model. In this case, a cantilever call. We're going to compare the SRAM results to hand calculations that we'll do here in the slides. And again, the model that we're working with is a cantilevered column, and it's going to have its mass concentrated on the top. It looks something like this. It's three meters tall, it's cantilevered, it's fixed support on the base, and again we have a hundred kilogram mass at the very top, and it's only in the x direction. The section we're using is 50 millimeters square, so we'll have a moment of inertia of 520,000 millimeters to the fourth, and our steel material will have a Young's modulus of 200,000 MPa. With our hand calculations, they're quite straightforward. We can find our stiffness using the values below, which we find to be uh, about 11,500 newtons per meter. And our natural frequency can then be determined very quickly using the following formula, and we get a value of 10.76 radians per second. Now let's see how this compares to what we get out of S-frame. Here I have a simple model already constructed. It's just a single column. And you notice that I already have a section assigned, a 50 millimeter by 50 millimeter section. My material that I'm using right now is a steel material, but I want all my mass to be concentrated as a lump mass at the very top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a copy of this, this material here. I'm just going to press the add button and make a copy and I'm just going to call it zero density. And you can probably guess what I'm going to do. I'm going to zero out this force density and I'll press update. That adds a new material to this list, and I'm going to assign this material. The reason is I don't want to have any extra density in my material. I just want it to be all concentrated at the tip. And to do that, I'm going to use the lump mass tool. Remember, I said I'm going to have a 100 kilogram mass at the very top, and that's where my mass is going to be concentrated, in the x direction. So I'm going to have a magnitude of 981 newtons, if we make the conversion between newtons and kilograms. And all I'm going to do is just left click to apply this to the top of my column. And the base, I don't have to worry about, it's fully fixed. Now I can go ahead and run my analysis because my stiffness and my mass is already defined. And I can run an unstressed vibration analysis. So this is looking at this unstressed state. It doesn't have any influence from damping or loads. And I'm going to run analysis for just one eigenvalue because I only have one degree of freedom with any mass assigned to it. Make sure you're using the Jacobi threshold method if you have a single degree of freedom system. For larger systems, you can use subspace iteration, but for this situation, we're going to use Jacobi, and I'm going to press OK to run the analysis. SFIM is giving us a solution here with no diagnostic messages. And now I can look at the results. If I click here on the left-hand side, I have the mode shape button, which is one of the few buttons available after vibration analysis. And I can click this drop down list to select my mode shape. And you can see I'm getting a period of about just under 0.6 seconds. And I can animate this. Or I can get a better display if I go to run and then S view. And in S view, I'll be able to see this in more realistic rendering capabilities. So here I have S view. And I'm actually going to turn on the display of my object view. And now I can see the actual 50 millimeter by 50 millimeter square section. And I can display my mode shapes as well. I may also be interested in looking at the numerical results, which I can do in S-Frame, clicking on the numerical results tab here. And right away we can see our frequency spreadsheet, and this is showing us our angular frequency which matches what we got from hand calculations. We get our frequency in hertz and our period, and we can also see 100% of our mass is participating in this mode shape in the extraction. Thank you for watching this video. For more tutorials, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.